JFT Just Fair and Direct. Okay, hello and welcome everyone. Welcome to JFD Traders Tea Time with me, Darius Lonchowskis. Today is the 16th of March 2020, so yep, welcome everyone. Welcome to this video recording. Um, as I've mentioned in my traders uh, espresso and, and I've mentioned last week, basically due to certain uh, circumstances uh, w which are happening right now with the coronavirus, um, this video and the remaining videos for now will be coming out in recording ver recorded version. So, yep, I hope you will be patient with us, guys. And uh, um, but yeah, that's the measure that we have to take right now. So, um, as I as always, guys, before we uh, jump in, a uh, quick mentioning of our G uh, well, actually, of the risk disclaimer. As always, we need to go through that one first. So the content we produce does not constitute investment advice or investment recommendation, should not be considered as such, and does not in any way constitute an invitation to acquire any financial instrument or product. As always, a few seconds for you to read the rest, and we can continue. Okay, also just a quick mentioning of our JD YouTube channel to which you can always um, subscribe to in order not to miss any of our upcoming videos and of course our JD, ba JD Bank website and specifically our JD research page which we update on a daily basis. So yeah, feel free to visit us here on jdbank.com and click on the research page right there. Now then, let's jump into the charts. Now the first one I want to touch on here is the German DAX. Now I looked at this one uh, recently and basically, well, it's not looking good here. The index can uh, opened uh, with a huge gap to the downside today um, and uh, yep drifted lower but uh, as you can see managed to test the 8355 mark and, and previously I talked about that level let me just go back into history here a little bit so it managed to even overshoot this lowest point of 2014 and uh, and that's was that was roughly around the 8355 mark so as you can see, uh, and the index not only fell below the 8,700 zone, it also fell below the 8,355. Now, uh, what's going to be interesting here is this, if this area here, if this lowest point of 2014 will continue to hold um, and we see a nice, a nice daily close above this, then, well, maybe... We could go here for a bit of correction. Of course, ideally, um, in order for us would, to consider such an uh, such a scenario uh, where we could yeah go for a little bit of co uh, correction to the upside, we would like to see a nice good cl daily close above the 8,700 zone, which is the lowest point of 2016, and and uh, only then yes we could get a little bit more comfortable because uh, we could be getting ourselves a nice pin bar here. But again, for now, looking at this picture. Uh, will probably remain a little bit more on the neutral side, but if it starts falling back below the 8,355 zone, well, I mean, this could be opening the path towards even lower levels. So for now, uh, for today, guys, keep your eyes on on this on this area here. Let's see where this is going to end. Um, if it stays above the 8,355 zone, but remains below the 8,700 zone, yeah, uh, yes, we will uh, be very careful, but uh, uh, probably the downside we're, we will not be that comfortable with the downside so uh, that's why for now keep your eyes on this uh, keep your eyes on these two levels and let's see where this day is going to end because that's the only thing that we can actually do right now because um, in a way it's just one-way traffic um, ibex the spanish index uh, which we um, haven't looked at for quite a while and uh, here basically i wanted to touch on mainly on the monthly chart now let me just jump into this one so basically this is the situation here that i wanted to show so since the beginning of this index today or should i say this month um, has been the the biggest drop in uh, well in its history in a way previously uh, looking at some of these previous drops um, to be honest neither of them can actually equate to to this 
to this month's drop and uh, you can see that we've managed uh, this month already we already we managed to drop uh, slightly below the 35% uh, mark here so um, in a way of course don't get me wrong we are currently getting a hold up near the lowest point of, of 2012 and um, that's basically roughly around the 5905 zone um, so we'll continue observing that area because if this is going to hold then maybe we could go for a bit of correction here to the upside but of course don't get me wrong we do have some uh, some obstacles here like for example the 7580 territory which is the lowest point of uh, 2016 um, but before that mm, it, in a way if the index travels a little bit higher but struggles to move above this level here which is the lowest point of 2009 here uh, which is around the 6,702 and 3 marks something like that uh, then we could see another round of selling so basically if it struggles to push back above this uh, 6,703 zone then yes we would aim for another round of selling but initially we will keep an eye on this 5,905 zone because if we get a hold up here um, and if we get a monthly close above this level then yes we will aim for a bit of a correction here but this is where I was saying that if this uh, if that correction happens and the um, the index struggles to push above the 6,703 territory then yes uh, we will aim for another round of selling, potentially maybe even uh, overcoming sharply overcoming this 5,905 zone and then targeting uh, the lowest point of 2002. And that was roughly around the 5,267 mark. So something to consider, guys, something to keep in mind. Um, so let's see how this is going to play out. If this starts pushing back above the 7,580 territory here, um, then yes, we will aim for a larger correction, but let's not forget that we are trading below this uh, downside resistance line a bit of a tentative one I do understand that but nevertheless this downside resistance line taken from the highest point of 2015 guys so keep your eyes on this one so basically if I'll just put an arrow here for our future reference that's what we're looking here for in order to aim for a larger correction to the upside um, Dow Jones industrial average so opening with a huge drop and uh, this is a monthly chart as well here so just probably better I'll, I'll stick to this one for now as you can see it uh, the index drifted today to the to the lowest point of May 2017 but also managed to test the lowest point of uh, April 2017 and that was roughly around the 20,380 zone so basically the index drifted to the downside already today and uh, tested that area perfectly look at this beautiful touch um, from which it rebounded and now the big question here is can this um, actually climb back up maybe go to go for a bit of correction of course don't get me wrong uh, it's too early to talk about that uh, we'll keep an eye on today's close um, and of course we'll keep an eye on this level here this 20,380 zone because if we see it another drop lower and we see a break below this then well I mean the, a break of this would confirm a forthcoming lower low and um, well we could maybe start even targeting that psychological 20 20,000 mark uh, but if the index somehow manages to climb back above these 21,712 territory here which is the lowest point of 2018 then yes we will aim for some upside we will aim for some some of these uh, higher levels uh, but of course for now it's too early to talk about that because again as I said we would like to see a push a nice good push and maybe even a daily close above the 21,710 territory here uh, and only then a aim for the upside so if I'll put an arrow here for our future reference that's what we're going to be looking here for in order for now of course uh, in order to kind of aim for higher levels but again for uh, at this point in time um, you can see that yes uh, the index is at its lows um, it today it is currently at around 10% loss already so let's see how this is going to play out guys for tonight but um yep um if this starts drifting lower again and uh, drops to the uh, 20,380 or should I say below the 20,380 zone then well i mean further declines are possible 
gold now this is a huge move uh, for gold I looked at this gold uh, I've looked at gold at the, this morning but to be honest um, didn't expect such a strong move lower and uh, the the commodity basically not only drifted below the uh, Friday's low which was around the 1505 it almost managed to reach this target that I've talked about previously at around 1445 and that was the uh, the lowest point of November 2019 so it basically drifted below the 200 day EMA here um, and uh, of course as you can see it, can, it continues to trade below it so all this is not really looking good here for gold um, especially if it once again slides towards this 1445 mark and um, if we do get a break of this area then well it could lead to a test of this upside support line this long term upside support line taken from the low of August 2018 guys so for now um, like I said everything's a little bit tricky here and uh, yes we are going to be uh, aiming for uh, lower levels especially if it falls below the 1445 mark so keep your eyes on that one so um, now then jumping into silver another major decliner today as you can see at one point the uh, the commodity the, the commodity the precious metal managed to test the area around the 11 point 79 zone so it drifted not only drifted kind of further below from its uh, this upside support line taken from the low of the 13th of November 2018 but um, it also like I said dropped to the level around 11.79 so last time it was somewhere around here well to be honest we have to scroll back way back into um into areas of 2009 so you can see the sharp fall here um so basically that's not really uh looking good here for silver of course we are seeing a bit of a correction right now um don't get me wrong yes it is quite overstretched here to the downside but in a way it we could see another round of selling soon but um, it, as long as it remains below this level here below the 13.65 zone which is the low of December 2015 or in other words the lowest point of December to uh, or the lowest point of 2015 if it stays below this area below this 13.65 13.65 then well further declines are possible the only thing is that this level here the 11.79 this is this could play out as a nice barrier the problem another problem here of course for further declines is the the whole o be, uh, being oversold situation so for now um, you can see that yes we are retracing but let's keep an eye on this 11.78 because if this uh, 79 zone if it if it drops below this then well further declines are possible for now it's it's coming as a nat natural normal retracement um, as I said if the price remains below the 13.65 mark then yep we could see another round of selling uh, Brent oil very quickly on this I've looked at this uh, commodity this morning and what I was talking about was that if we get a drop below the low of last week near the 31.30 zone then yes we will aim for that uh, 29 uh, or let me just quickly double check and confirm that level so that uh, 29.95 zone so as you can see, uh, we managed to overshoot that level. That was the uh, the low. That, that is the lowest point of February 2016. But we managed to overshoot that, and uh, it climbed back above it, but still remains below the low of last week. So all this is still kind of looking quite bearish. Um, our main target is the lowest point of 2016, and that's roughly around the 27.13 zone. So yep, guys, for now, uh, 27.13. That could be our target that's the lowest point of 2016 so keep your eyes on this one um, if by any chance this somehow reverses sharply back to the upside and climbs back above the 39.60 zone here uh, which is the high of the uh, 11th of March then we will aim for a larger correction uh, larger correction to the upside and the reason why is it's still a correction as you can see it's, we are still below this downside resistance line taken from the highest point of January um, jumping into a few pairs now uh, USD JPY I talked about this one this morning as well and just a quick review quick update on what's happening here so basically what I was telling you guys uh, for now we will remain somewhat neutral and we will wait for a break of through one of these uh, tentative um, lines here the upside and the 
the downside ones. Of course, we'll keep an eye on certain uh, key areas of resistance and support. But um, in a way, if this upside line breaks and the rate falls below the 104.48 zone, then yes, we will aim for further declines if we get a break through this downside line and a push above the the uh, the uh, this 108.58 zone then well it could open the path to its higher levels again because this would confirm a forthcoming higher high and maybe more buyers could be joining in and potentially driving this one towards the 110.70 mark so for now keep your eyes on these two barriers um, GBP USD very quickly on this um, so also drifted lower and look at this perfect uh, test of this barrier the 1.2413 I spoke about this one um, and um, basically uh, of course we've managed to drift a little bit higher here uh, and uh, now you can see that the rate that remained below this 1.2413 and continues to drift lower and breaking is breaking now the uh, 1.2255 zone so basically it's confirming uh, it has confirmed the lower low and uh, the next target for us is the um, the one point uh, let me just probably jump back into a daily chart very quickly um, so this will be much easier um, so now we're aiming for this lowest point of October 2019 and that's roughly around the 1.2195 level so keep your eyes on this one guys um, in a way don't get me wrong even looking at this daily chart we are quite overstretched here to the to the downside so maybe a bit of correction could be possible uh, but probably the bull should not get their hopes up yet uh, because like I said for now it's balancing below this 1.21 uh, 1.2255 mark so keep your eyes on that one um, and the next target for us is around the 1.2195 but of course if that fails to withhold then well further declines are possible uh, euro usd very quickly on this um, I'll quick i'll jump into a four hour chart and as you can see this is what i exactly what i was talking about this morning so basically although we had a break of this downside line still we needed to see a nice good push above this 1.1238.39 zone here uh, because that's basically the highest point of December 2019 so as you can see the rate struggled to move above it um, and quickly kind of sold off but still remains above this upside support line taken from the low of the 20th of February um, of course uh, for now we will play the waiting game because we need to see a clear breakthrough one of these levels that I've, uh, I've talked about uh, this morning um, the 1.1054 mark a drop below this would confirm a forthcoming lower low and then we could start targeting the downside for now it's a very tricky spot here on one hand yes we are still above this upside support line but on the other hand we fail to move above the December high the de December 2019 high which is around the 1.1238 and uh, although breaking this downside this short-term downside line still it failed to move higher so that's why it's become it's it's also a bit tricky here so that's why wait for a clear break guys uh, through one of these levels and then we could target a further directional move um, in in the on the upside scenario here we will aim for the uh, 1.1355 zone roughly around here or even going further a little bit north but initially let's actually target this level let's see how it how it's going to play out around here and in terms of the downside if we see a drop below the 1.1054 then yes we will aim for that 1.0949 zone or even going further down the line here but again for now let's see how this is going to play out for now we need that confirmation break okay guys i really hope you found it useful and uh like i said i do apologize for not running this video uh live but for now this is just a temporary um, kind of uh, solution um, and uh, we will we will run live videos um, at some point later but again everything is right now due to the coronavirus so um, so yep not ideal guys but uh, yeah I do apologize for that um, but I hope you found this uh, recorded video useful as well um, and uh, if 
please uh, watch out for the uh, the traders tea time or oh, sorry traders espresso tomorrow morning as well around around nine o'clock maybe just a little bit after that um, and uh, yep I uh, hope you uh, hope to catch you then guys and uh, I hope you will uh, enjoy that video as well anyway have a wonderful weekend oh sorry weekend oh, I'm still in the in still in there have a wonderful evening there we go guys and I'll see you tomorrow thank you very much and bye-bye